Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. Today we got a nice little treat. It's just going to be a chronograph video only. I've got Barnes 62 grain, 5.56 millimeter loaded uh, TSX. We got different barrel lengths here. We've got a 10 and a half inch. We got a 16 inch from Michael Kaler. Make sure you check out Michael Kaler's channel. All right. We have an 18 inch and a 20 inch. Uh, these are my, all that are mine are the Palmetto State one and seven twist. This is a one and nine twist from Michael Kaler with the overcompensating compensator on the end. So that could make a difference, but uh, we're just going to see what this gets in different barrel lengths. Okay, here we are back on Alaskan Ballistics, 20 inch barrel, Palmetto State. Over the chronograph, we are shooting the 62 grain tipped, or no, excuse me, the 62 grain non-tipped 5.56 millimeter loaded uh, ammo from Barnes. So this is your 62 grain, but it is 5.56. Here we go. Three thousand eighty-eight, three thousand sixty-five, three thousand seventy-two, three thousand ninety-six, three thousand sixty-seven. Well, that wasn't bad. It was pretty pretty consistent. Not bad for a rifle ammo. Oh, microphone cable got caught in the guns there. Michael Kaler is Johnny on the spot, handing me these guns. It's awesome. Three thousand forty-four. Twenty-nine sixty-seven. That one was a little weird. Three thousand thirty-seven. Three thousand sixty-four. And three thousand thirty-eight. So just a little bit with that one flyer. Here we go. Sixteen-inch barrel. One and nine twist this time, I think. Twenty-nine fifty-eight. Twenty-nine fifty-one. Twenty-nine thirty-three. 2979, 2953. 10 and a half inch pistol, 50 off. Here we go, 10 and a half inch pistol. 2650, that's not bad. 2678, 2709, 2783, and 2752. Clear. Man, that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Uh, I like it out of the pistol. That's not that much of a velocity loss for a pistol. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. The Barnes 62 grain 5.56 millimeter TSX. Four barrels test. We started off with the 20 inch Palmetto State barrel, one and seven twist. We got an average muzzle velocity of 3077.6 feet per second. A standard deviation of 13.6857, an average muzzle energy of 1,304.283 foot pounds. The 18 inch Palmetto State 1 and 7 twist barrel, average muzzle velocity 30 30 feet per second, standard deviation 36.8578, average muzzle energy 1,264.249 foot pounds. The 16 inch 1 and 9 twist JT Enterprises upper that Michael Kaler let us borrow gave us an average muzzle velocity of 29.54.8 feet per second, a standard deviation of 16.4984, and an average muzzle energy of 1,202.2749 foot pounds. The 10 and a half inch 1 and 7 twist from Palmetto State, average muzzle velocity 2674.4 feet per second. Standard deviation 24.39877 and average muzzle energy 984.918 foot pounds. Almost a thousand pounds of energy out of 10 and a half inch barrels, pretty good. It was between 8 and 10 degrees Fahrenheit and 800 feet of elevation when we filmed this. And this week's shout out goes to C4 Defense. Great guy, great channel has great uh, training videos and drills and live chats and gun comparisons reviews. Go check them out. Link is in the description. So this is just a, uh, a just a chronograph video. Let me know in the comments what you want me to shoot this into as a test, kind of a fun test, what distance and stuff. We'll get that more going towards springtime when it's not negative five degrees out here. Actually, it's about seven or eight degrees out here today, but negative five sounds tougher. Anyway, God bless. Take care. 
Check out the Adip slide. Support us on Patreon. We'll see you at the range. God bless.